now that I've installed my RAM, I thought I'd do a memory test. If you press F8 while the computer is booting up, F8 over here. Uh, while it's booting up, you'll get into the advanced boot options. This is for Windows 7 uh, and probably for Windows, maybe for in Windows 8, but for sure Windows 7. And then we'd go in to repair your computer. Um, so let's go into repair your computer. And then it'll take a while to boot up. Once it boots up, I can go into the memory test and see if it runs fine. Uh, another test I'll, that I'll be doing to test the memory that I just installed is memtest. Okie dokie, so it's asking, system recovery options is now asking me which keyboard I use, US. It's asking me for my password. Okay, so one of the nice things about this in Windows 7 is if you go down to the fourth option, I kind of mentioned this, there's Windows Memory Diagnostic. Run that. And I can just choose Checks Now and for problems, it's a recommended one. So it's going to reboot the machine and go into the RAM tester. I mean the Memory Diagnostic tool. Reboots, and then you can just let it go. You don't have to do anything. If you want to run more extensive tests, you can go into options by pressing F1. But right now, I'm just going to run its default testing. In the very top it says it's running test pass one of two. Overall completion status is four percent. And on the bottom over here, it'll tell us the status. It says no problems have been detected, uh, although it seems inactive, it's still running the test. And so this is Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. It's nice that they finally added one to test the memory. In my experience, my limited experience, if the RAM is pretty bad, it'll just show up errors in the very beginning. Uh, that's what I usually see when I run uh, memtest86, which I'm going to give it a give it a try after this. So far, the results are promising. I'm really surprised. Every time I've bought RAM from Micro Center. I usually have to return it, uh, especially if it's open box like this, open box clearance item. So I'm really happy that it works. I was originally running only two gigabytes of RAM, upgraded to three gigabytes. It's enough for me to do virtual machine or just do some encoding. With two gigabytes, it's kind of limited. And I think I'm running 64-bit. Windows 7, so it needs that extra little RAM. So you would just let this complete, probably takes a few minutes, but I'm pretty lazy. Just wanted to show you how I test the RAM using this one test. I'm going to use another test now, memtest86, to test the RAM.